Hello, I'm Kelvin Fox, and today we're going to continue our discussion of the Network Analytics Engine scripts. Today we'll talk about the COP3 script. The Control Plane Policing script does not mean that we can create digital law enforcement. It, however, does signify that the networking staff will have an easy to interpret view of the traffic being sent and received by the switch's CPU. Before moving on, let's get this one thing straight. COP and COP are not the same thing, even though they both monitor and take action on the traffic. Before NAE, the network operator had to set up the control plane policing using the device's CLI. Then, the results could only be viewed by issuing another CLI command. COP monitoring is much easier in NAE. The purpose of this script is to detect anomalous traffic that is getting dropped by the control plane. An example of such drops can be caused by flooding in the network, like in a direct denial of service attack to the control management plane. Typically, this involves high rates of traffic that result in excessive CPU utilization. Today I'm going to use a traffic generator and I'm going to show what happens in NAE when I crank up the traffic. So before we start monitoring the control plane policing traffic, we have to install our COP3 script. For that, we're going to log in to our AOSCX device. From the overview in the UI, we'll go to the left side and to the analytics, go to the scripts and click on the cloud icon. That'll take you to the Aruba Solutions Exchange. Click accept as this is your first time. While we wait for it to populate, this is a place where you'll find all the Aruba curated scripts. Look for the COP3 script and select it, then click on install and confirm. Now if you switch to the scripts window you'll see the script has been downloaded. Now that we have downloaded the script to make use of it we have to create an agent. By selecting the script clicking on create agent give the agent a name and here you can give it some parameters uh, to more narrowly define what the alerts mean by setting up the protocol tolerance as a percentage. The provided value is the percentage added to the configured COP class rate. And this is used as a threshold for the rate of traffic dropped. For this experiment, I'm just going to keep the zero percentage tolerance. Click create. And you get that nice green box of success. Now if you go back to analytics, you can now display the agent by clicking on the plus sign. The monitors will be gathering data and they'll soon show up on the graph. Now by no means is the uh, ICMP and SSH traffic uh, the only kinds of traffic that the COP3 script can monitor. This entire list of traffic uh, monitors uh, are going on in the background monitoring the traffic for all these protocols. For my example, I'm going to need to borrow some of these monitors and add them to my ICMP traffic and my SSH traffic. Now that I have selected the traffic that I want to show on my graph from the custom monitors, I can see that it is plotting the straight line of no traffic dropped or passed. This is because I have not enabled yet the interfaces where my traffic generator is connected. I had to borrow some of the monitors, not because the other ones will stop monitoring, but because only eight can be shown in the graph at a time. Now that my interfaces are up, I should start seeing the traffic spike up. There you see the first warning for a critical alert from NAE coming from that script. It is also marked on the graph with this red triangle which you can click and then you will see the analysis and the output of the action the script took. In this case the critical alert was given because I exceeded the line rate in that interface.
Here I can see another alert triggered by the other type of traffic that I have set up on my traffic generator. This time I have started both the ICMP traffic and the SSH traffic. And again, I can see more detail of each alert by clicking on the triangles. Here I can see both of the SSH and the ICMP traffic are causing this alert. Now I'm going to go and shut those ports and the monitoring should go back to normal. Now this live graph gets updated every five seconds and now we can see the traffic dying down. A record of all of the alerts appears up here in the in the alert widget and we can see that the COP3 monitor has gone back to its green status because since I shut those interfaces the traffic that was causing the alerts is no longer present. Another cool thing that we can see is that if we go back to the dashboard into the resource into the system resource agent we can see the spike in CPU usage by some of our monitors here short term and CPU usage right around the time we were conducting our experiment. Well, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I hope I showed some insights on how to use the power of the network analytics engine. If you have any questions, visit us at our Airheads developer community. Links are in the description down below. And check out our other videos in the Aruba Bot series.